Hi, this is Joel Persinger. I'm the Gun Guy. Thank you very much for watching Gun Guy TV. I'm very grateful that you do. And I want to say thank you every time I start a video because without you, I'd just be talking to myself and Lord knows they'd think I was crazy and probably lock me up. So there you are. Listen, we've got some new stuff going on that I may have mentioned to you before. Uh, among the other ways you can help with Gun Guy TV, I've been asked to incorporate cryptocurrency. So if you go to the Gun Guy TV website at gunguy.tv, you will find a, a, a BitPay button at the top. So if you'd like to donate, you can do it with cryptocurrency, I think is what you call it. But in any case, <laughs> you know what I know about Bitcoin, you can put in the head of a pen, but I'm learning. All right, here's the other thing. We've got a brand new podcast that is being disseminated all over the place and syndicated everywhere. You can check that out on uh, iTunes and other places. So please look for that as well as all these wonderful places over here where we are distributing the videos. So we're not just on YouTube. Uh, one of the reasons I'm doing this is to make sure that Gun Guy TV has as much of a reach as possible as we try to fight for the Second Amendment and as I try to keep you informed. So please check those things out and support us where you can. I would really appreciate it. Listen, I've done a whole bunch of videos recently on shotguns, and in particular on shotguns that are inexpensive, fairly easy to get, and that the uh, the common man, that's me, or woman, as the case might be, can pick up fairly inexpensively and can do a lot of things with. I would have been completely remiss if I had not mentioned the Remington 1100, because the Remington 1100 as a semi-automatic shotgun is everywhere. You have no idea. I, you know, I've hunted birds for forever. Ducks and quail and chucker and pheasant and uh, doves and, you know, you name it. And I, I see so many 1100s out there. It's amazing. You think there aren't that many of them out there, but they're like Remington 870s and Mossberg 500s. They're everywhere. Well, this is a version of the Remington 1100. This is the 1187, and that's the one that comes with the polymer uh, furniture and like that. And this is this gun's, it's getting up there in age a little bit. This is actually my wife's 20 gauge. This belongs to my wife. This is her 20 gauge shotgun. And uh, of course, I had to get permission to do the video with it. <laughs> happy wife, happy life, they say. Actually, I didn't. I just, you know, she knows I was going to do a video with it. It's a terrific shotgun, and it's seen a lot of hunting, and it's seen some, uh, you know, trap shooting and stuff like that. And just run like a Swiss watch all the time. A couple of things I like about 1100s is, one, they're not, they're first of all, they're not fancy. There's nothing fancy and, you know, like that about a Remington 1100. It's a, it's a semi-automatic shotgun, and, you know, it just looks like every other semi-automatic shotgun. There's nothing to rave about or, or write home about, except for the fact that they are just ridiculously reliable. They, they handle really, really well, and they absorb recoil like crazy. So if you're a recoil-sensitive person, an 1100 is a great choice, and either 20 gauge, 12 gauge, doesn't matter. Now this little 20, when you fire it, has, I mean, the recoil is almost non-existent because the action is sucking it up in that semi-automatic uh, action. That's one of the beautiful things about the semi-automatic shotgun, or semi-automatic anything, for that reason, uh, for that matter. But these Remingtons in this kind of design really do absorb the recoil and make it very soft shooting. Similar kind of design, a little bit different, but similar kind of design to my Remington 742, which is my old deer rifle. It's 308, and yet it doesn't feel like a 308 when you press the trigger because the semi-automatic action is absorbing the recoil and make it more manageable for you to shoot. So if you're recoil sensitive, and you can run across an 1100 or an 1187, which is this particular model of 1100, they're just terrific shotguns. They're also extremely reliable, and there's just nothing to break on them except for one thing, <laughs> one. And that is, and I, I'm not going to take it apart to show you, but there's a little there's a little O-ring in them that fits inside the action. And when that little O-ring wears out, the action will stop running. Well, it's a matter of ordering a new O-ring from Remington. And I'll tell you, I've seen people try O-rings they get at the hardware store or whatever the case might be. Don't do it. Unless it's a last minute ditch, last ditch emergency or something, and that's what you can find. Go ahead and order the original part because it's made out of a particular material that's tougher than the others. If you if you put a cheap O-ring in there, it's not going to last very long. You replace it with an original part, it'll last years and years and years before it goes out again. But here's the suggestion I have for you because I've seen it happen hunting about two dozen times. Make sure you have an extra one in your in your hunting gear because 
it won't go out until you need it. And then the stupid thing will go out right in the middle of a hunting trip or something. And now you're stuck. So make sure you got an extra O-ring or two in your gear. They're not, you know, they're pricey, but they're not terrible. You know, they're not cost prohibitive. That's the only thing I've ever found with these, with these guns, these Remington 1100s that ever gives you trouble is that stupid little O-ring. So it's, it's an investment to just make sure you got two or three of them and you order the real ones and keep them around and then you won't have any trouble with them. I have taken this, uh, with my wife's permission <laughs> and I've, uh, I've taken it dove hunting and uh, hunted quail with it and chucker and, uh, boy, I don't know. A few different things and then she's used it quite a bit and it's it's just it's seen a lot of use and let and yet look at it i mean it honestly it doesn't look like it's seen very much and matter of fact now that i think about it my son has hunted with it a number of times as well so it's it's seen you know three four hunters use it since we bought it and we got it brand new for her some years back it's just been a terrific shotgun now i have seen 1100s for sale on gun store racks and on gun broker and so on there the last time i checked which was some time ago they weren't a terribly expensive shotgun to buy but if you're thinking about a semi-automatic shotgun and you don't want to blow two thousand dollars or whatever I mean, some of them are really pricey you might consider looking at the old the old standby semi-automatic the the 1100 series from remington they are really a great shotgun there's a reason why there's a bazillion of them out there it's because they're a really a great shotgun. I suggest that you you check them out. This one's been marvelous for my wife, and honestly, as I said, other members of my family, including me, have used it on a number of occasions as well. And it's it's put uh, put meat in the pot every time, and done a great job. And again, you know, it, the same thing if you're a self, if you're worried about self defense, same deal. I mean, you can make these into self defense guns. The nice part about it is you can order replacement barrels for them. They're readily available. So if you wanted to keep the hunting barrel but you wanted to buy a barrel and then cut it short, make a short barrel for home defense, you can do that. Uh, the other thing is the plug that's in here for um, for hunting that keeps you down to three rounds is easy to remove. I mean, it's, it's a five minute process. You can pull it right out of there and then you can, I think it'll hold five shells and then one up the pipe. And if you wanted to put a short barrel on it, now you got a nice little short semi-automatic self-defense gun that didn't cost you a fortune. So these can be really brilliantly used uh, I see a lot of them out there. Like I said, it's not a uh, not an exciting video, probably. But, you know, I do own a training company called Practical Defense Systems for a reason. I'm kind of a practical guy. And I'll tell you, when you're looking for a practical shotgun that's in semi-automatic that you know is going to run and treat you really well and only requires one little stupid part to keep around in case it goes wrong, here, you, here it is. <laughs> right here. The Remington 1100. And in this case, the Remington 1187 in 20 gauge and they come in 12s and other things too. Check them out. Well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support. Please do check us out on these other platforms because we're, we're trying to keep the, uh, the, uh, the evil deleters away. YouTube has a tendency to demonize things and delete things. And one of the, one of these days, my channel be one, maybe one of the things they delete. So we're trying to keep you up to date on where we are. And then if you wouldn't mind, check out that podcast as well. If you can help us out a little bit by shopping Amazon with our link or helping us out on Patreon. And I know people are mad at Patreon right now. I get it. Or if you want to uh, donate a little money by going to the website and doing that. You can do it with PayPal. If you hate PayPal, you can do it with uh, with BitPay. There you go. The land of options right here. <laughs> Have a great week and please be safe.